Hello. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing fine, actually. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that. Thank Where are you calling from? Most probably Iran. Yes, definitely from Iran. I'm currently living in Isfahan. In Isfahan. Very good. And what is your occupation? Uh, actually, I'm a designer, a graphic designer. Designer. That is so cool. What kind of what kind of designer? I mean, what do you design? You know, designer is is a universe, actually. Of course. Designing, yes. The first step for every company, every you know, every person um, is uh, identity. Identity, and it starts with logo or logo type. Start with corporate identity, like brochure, like poster, like everything. Everything you see in the whole world <laughs> is designed by a designer layout it's kind mm -hmm. of a combination between uh pictures and type i mean everything that is so cool actually so uh i think most probably you are uh using photoshop or corel draw and um, am i correct yeah definitely you know or uh, the illustrator something that, like that yes, illustrator is the empire <laughs> i always I say that without illustrator no no way <laughs> uh it's really mm -hmm. um, handy it's really useful and mm -hmm. you can create everything because mm -hmm. uh it's like a vector you know vector sometimes you have to print some patterns you know definitely and you can print it large formats without any flaw and yeah actually every day i use that mm -hmm. software awesome awesome uh, most probably you're uh, studying english right at the same time or you you studied it and you know actually i'm doing self-study right now because i attended some classes um mm -hmm. i finished it i took my ielts exam and uh, and never give up learning English because I I mm -hmm. think that learning is something different and studying is something different. I study it, but with a huge gap. But now I I I try to enjoy and I try to entertain, be entertained with English, and I don't like it because it's been my passion, and that's okay. why I'm here talking to you now. Sometimes I have some ups and downs, but it, it doesn't matter because you have to mm -hmm. communicate, you have to be understood, understandable, mm -hmm. and yeah. Why you're practicing then? I mean, what I mean, what do you need English for in your life? Actually, like I said before, I'm a designer. Actually, I'm a teacher, and I have mm -hmm. lots of friends abroad, and I have family mm -hmm. members abroad. Are you an English teacher? No, I'm not an English teacher. I'm, I'm just a simple learner. <laughs> I just, uh, I'm a teacher. I'm a graphic teacher as as well, like mm -hmm. designing at the same time and teaching. I use it as a media because I have mm -hmm. to be updated, and that's that's why I try to stay updated. And this is mm -hmm. one of my reasons. Okay, sure. So you need to maybe have access. Definitely. Uh, to the articles online so that you can maybe translate and, you know, you can use those material uh, in your classrooms. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I have some family members, those uh, cannot speak Farsi because they, they're born. They were born in the, in the U.S. Ah, they were born. Yeah. Okay. We can communicate just in English, and that, that's mm -hmm. that's fine. That's nice. That my cousin's uh, mother tongue is English. So, uh, do you communicate with them on a regular basis? Yeah, for sure. You have to be in touch, and mm -hmm. it can be another reason. Mm -hmm. I I really like movies if I have time. No. Mm -hmm. My, my, I have a demanding job. It's really, but my lifestyle is like hectic, but uh, whenever I can find the free time, not leisure time, just a little bit of free time, I go for a movie. 
even a, sh a short, I don't know, but it's really good because I can understand everything and maybe it, it, it can really uh, help me boost my pronunciation, intonation and the speaking skill. I see. And what kind of uh, movies are you into? I mean, movie genres are you into? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, if I if, if I have to prioritize my movie genres, maybe I go for not fiction, science fiction, not not dramatic. Maybe uh, let's let's talk about uh, TV series like Friends, like. <laughs> Fresh housewives, mm -hmm. like yeah. So you're you are uh, basically uh, into sitcoms rather than you know watching movies. Yeah, I see. That's why I think it's mm -hmm. the key point because uh, to watch the the TV series, it's like mm -hmm. a regular day, like when you open your eyes and you start your day, and some. Mm -hmm routine uh, conversations between uh, family members, friends, classmates, colleagues, mm -hmm. and you can grab some some important points in communication mm -hmm. conversation between these kind of people and it can help mm -hmm. to be natural or you sound you sound natural in speaking English. Of course, of course, definitely, definitely, yeah. Because uh, when you are, you know, focusing on uh, some uh, native-like st uh, stuff, let's say, of course, they are, I mean, designed especially for native speakers. Yeah. Uh, and you keep watching them, at least uh, you are improving your listening, for sure. And then step by step, you are imitating them and, you know, following them. And step by step, you uh, you can be a good speaker, of course. Uh, you you might have a nice pronunciation, of course, as well as uh, you know a decent accent. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, you would definitely improve your vocabulary. Yeah, uh, I think that uh, the movies are like weird because they uh, the director or the actors are focusing on some specific item, specific mm -hmm. point. Yeah, <laughs> point issue or. That's why you uh, you're like one direction uh, viewer, but mm -hmm. when you watch the TV series, it's like a whole dimensions. It can be funny, it can be uh, serious, it can be sometimes uh, like criminal, <laughs> and that's why you can find variety mm -hmm. of various words and the variety of the spice of life and it's being avoid being monotonous is really mm -hmm. a key point do you do you read books or some other stuff yeah, yeah or sure. let's say you play games or uh yes um books yes. i've read the the active reading skills have you mm -hmm. have you seen those books most probably yes active reading number four is is mm -hmm. really wonderful it's amazing because it's mm -hmm. um it's a combination of vocabulary words uh word family and uh expressions idioms and uh you know the the articles um are from mostly from National Geographic, which I really love that. Besides, I've read some magazines like um, Amer uh, Reader's Digest, National Geographic, mm -hmm. and The New Yorkers are really helpful because mm -hmm. you, of course. yes, you have to immerse yourself with those mm -hmm. complicated, sometimes sophisticated uh, mm -hmm. vocabulary and Reading and step by step, you can improve. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Listening. Yeah, I think listening is a top. When I drive, I listen. When I cook, I listen. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, listening to TED Talk. It, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is another key point for. Everyone. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. definitely, yeah, definitely. TED Talks or 
or fantastic, you know, a, uh, basically they're a summary of a whole research yeah. stuff that has been done by uh, one of the scientists or maybe a sort of ordinary person. And uh, you, you just watch and learn and, and then you enjoy. Definitely. That's it. Not only mm -hmm. are they helpful for English, mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. they're like, you know, a new world, a new, it, it can widen, it can widen for, uh, the horizon. You can, you can find something new, maybe some uh, new point of view, some new vision about life. Maybe sometimes you can sympathize with the characters who explain their life. Exactly. Sometimes it is your problem. It has been your problem, but you didn't know that. And you can face them again, find a solution for that. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you mentioned about playing games. What kind of games do you play, may I ask? Uh, <laughs> games. Uh, yeah, board games are really fantastic. In recent days, we, my family and I started to play the board games because we are like trapped <laughs> because of you know virus and some sort of disastrous things that is happening in my country but board games but these are not english these are like um kind of metaphoric and surrealistic mm -hmm. space of a board game it was really nice mm -hmm. and highly recommended like code names and studios mm -hmm. these two board games i highly recommend this for people who want to enjoy their time and it's the reason for people for family members to gather together and judge their times apart from negative vibes and the sad situation in their country excellent you know uh you talked about everything which is so uh Interesting, yeah. You talked about movies, you know, the uh, TV series, you know, your hobbies. It was awesome. You must be in Turkey, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I live in Istanbul. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nice, nice city. I visited that city. Um, three... When? Yeah, I, I really love the ambience, the atmosphere, the historical places, buildings. Mm -hmm. Uh, the lakes, the cities, the horn, golden horn, <laughs> the bridge, and people are like good, friendly. Mm -hmm. But the city is really nice. The weather, I, I, I really love the weather out there. Of course, you know, Istanbul is so uh, beautiful and fascinating. Yeah. But of course, I always say uh, Istanbul is really cool for for those who have time and money oh. <laughs> simultaneously i mean these two factors are so important uh the the lack of one of the factors can can lead uh, a a tragic life for you oh yeah yeah <laughs> i mean a sort of uh, repetitive uh, let's say uh you know, you feel yourself as a slave, a uh, slave of the system, really? capitalism. Is it? Of course. Yeah, you know, uh, people are so tired and uh, uh, they are not happy. I mean, you cannot see them happy. Why? Majority of people are, are you know, so tired. Why? Are uh, is, is that why hectic life and they're busy and they're just uh commuting or running to find money as as i says that time is money all of them all of them all of them yeah 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 for for they sure have... most of the time when i when i've been there um i came to your city to visit the city and to have fun and to um, spend our leisure time so yeah you know Whenever you want to live like serious somewhere, yeah, you have to be uh, dedicated to your life. You have to spend money and time to find whatever you want, to gain something that you want that 
it was your purpose but i don't mm -hmm. i don't know uh, exactly uh, what are you do doing out there but um if it's related to english you can take advantage of english and you can you can you can do it i don't know uh, what is your uh, if i if i can <laughs> if if you want to answer answer my question uh, is it of your, course, is it is it your occupation in teaching english in istanbul yes yes sure uh, mm -hmm. so so it's good <laughs> Apparently, very controversial, actually, but of course, I'm thankful about it. And, uh, but um, yeah, I mean, we are a part of the system. Uh, everybody is complaining, complaining about the lack of the time that uh, people basically do not have. And uh, when they have time, they don't have energy. And when they have energy and time, they don't have money. Definitely. Uh, yeah. It's very cliche and stereotype, you know that. Yes. But of course, uh, yeah, it is quite good. Quite good. Yeah. Okay. Finger, fingers crossed <laughs> for you to yeah, yeah, yeah. gain whatever you want, accomplish uh, this, you know, what, whatever you are happy with. And mm -hmm. yeah, teaching English is good. <laughs> whatever you are. <laughs> Seems to be, <laughs> yeah. but of course it's uh, so challenging, you know, uh, I mean, being a teacher is not an easy task because yeah. you have to face, you have to deal with actually, uh, deal with a lot of students and um, each and every student is a human being. I mean, uh, dealing with a human being is the most horrible job and uh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, factors and elements, actually. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's not just. But of course, it has some positive uh, sides as well. And um, yeah, let's say yeah, I am thankful. Mm -hmm. Good, great. Yeah, because teaching is not uh, just about the books and the sentences. It's really about the the students' mental mental, you know, their mind, mm -hmm. their soul. Um, you have to find the entry to you know mm -hmm. grip or penetrate in their mind and soul you have to mm -hmm. you have to act like somebody who wants to be their a great source of inspiration for them and if you can do that definitely you will be uh, successful and popular and uh, as you are in six mm -hmm. six yeah if you can you can gain, you can gain uh, whatever you want. Gain fame. I see. Yes. Yeah, we have to be hopeful, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you have any specific question, you can ask. It was really uh, a cool uh, conversation, really. Thank you. I'll, I'll, um, I'll make my question list <laughs> for the next conversation and really? uh, I'll bombard you with the question, but <laughs> for, for now. Sure, sure. Yeah, thank challenge you. me, please. Of course. Thank you. Try to challenge me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I welcome challenges every day, every time, because it it can really boost my self confidence, <laughs> self confidence, and mm -hmm. self um, self esteem. Uh, mm -hmm. Why not? Just mm -hmm. go deep into <laughs> uh, the of challenge. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. By the way, thank you very much for the opportunity for for your time. Thanks for having me. Um, all the best for My you. My pleasure. Thank My you. pleasure. Have a, a nice uh, night. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.